In this tutorial, I'll show you how to cut a baggy t-shirt into a tank top with a braided empire waist. I think it makes a nice workout tank top, especially for the hot summer. It can also make a nice shirt to wear over your swimsuit or a bandeau. Here's what I use to make this tank top. I'm using a large men's t-shirt. T-shirts are pretty easy to find at a thrift store, and I got mine at my local Goodwill for $3. First I need to figure out where to cut. It's easier to figure this out with the shirt on, and I'm using tape as a guide. The Empire Waist Braid should sit kind of below the girls, or the bust, so I'm going to make it right here. I want the neckline to end right about here, and the straps to end here. Now it's time to cut the armholes. Fold it in half so that the two sides line up. If you need to, reposition the tape for the arms on the side you are cutting. On the armpit area, I have seams going up the sides. Not all t-shirts have seams on the sides, but this one does. You could just cut over them, but I don't want to see the seam split like this after many washes, so I'm going to cut a tab at the end of the seams and stitch them over to protect them from splitting. Make sure both sleeves are aligned and cut a small tab like this. Again, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Then make tabs on the shoulder seams. Now cut from the armpit tabs to the shoulder tabs. You can save the sleeves for my other t-shirt project, which you can find at the end of this video or in the description below. Now let's cut the neckline. Fold the shirt like this. And line the seams up on both sides. Again, I'm going to cut tabs on the seams. I'll cut the back of the neckline later. I'm going to cut from the guide I made to the tabs to form a v-neck. Then for the back, unfold it and cut it off like this. Then stretch the cut ends. This will help finish the edges. Now for the waist. Lay it flat and fold it in half evenly where the tape is. I'm going to cut lines across this whole section, so if it helps, you can put another piece of tape across so that they are all the same height. They will be about one and a half inches tall, but it doesn't have to be exact. Cut the lines about a finger apart. I'm using my thumb width. They don't have to be perfect. After that, unfold it and you should have something like this. Now stretch that area. Start on the front side and weave the strips under and over to form a loop. Repeat with the next strip under, over, and it gets easier. Keep weaving onto the back side. When you reach the last loop, tuck it inside, and from the inside, cut the loop and tie it into a knot onto the one next to it. Now, if you cut tabs like I did, sew them over. I'm using a needle and thread, 
but if you have liquid stitch, that will work too. And I didn't go crazy, just looped one big stitch. After I sewed all the tabs down, the tank is done. To wash, I used the delicate setting. I will say, after washing it, the edges laid down a lot better. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoy the rest of your summer in your new tank top. Feel free to share pics of the tops you made on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram. You can find direct links to my pages in the description below. There are a lot of ways you can cut t-shirts, so I made a Pinterest board with some of my favorites, and you can follow this board at the link below. For more tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. For another t-shirt cutting tutorial, check out the video to the left. To the right, you can learn how to make a simple button coaster. You can also find these links and more in the description below.